You are welcome to the first section of this project. So we'll start by launching an EC2 instance. Actually, I'm already in my AWS Management Console, as you can see. So I will go ahead and click on EC2 service over here. This has opened an EC2 dashboard for me. So all I need to do is to scroll down and I will click on this drop down and then I'll select launch instance. Okay, so in this page, I'll start by giving the, I'll start by naming my EC2 instance. I can name it whatever I want. So I'll give it my um, EC2 server. Okay, and I will scroll down. We'll be making use of Amazon Linux. So as you can see, it is already selected. So I scroll down. The instance type will be T2 micro. So this is fine. I will scroll down the key pair I'll be using. So I actually have an existing key pair, but if you don't have a key pair, all you need to do is to click on create a key pair. And then you give your key pair whatever name you want and just leave the key pair type as RSA. And if I scroll down, the, key, the private key file format actually depends on your SSH client, okay? So I'll be using my Windows um, terminal, that is Gatebash. So I'll, the one I'll be using is .pem, all right? So if you're using your PC terminal or Mac, .pem is fine. But if you're using PuTTY, go ahead and select .ppk and you click on create key pair. That will actually be downloaded in your download folder. So let me cancel this because I have a key pair already. All I need to do is to select the key pair. Okay, so I'll be making use of Windows key. I will select it. And scrolling down under network settings, I will click on edit. And then I'll scroll down. I'll leave everything as default. So under security group, we'll be creating a security group for this EC2 server. So I will name it EC2 server SG and I'll copy the same name. I'll use it as my description. All right. So scrolling down under EC2, under security group, um, we have the SSH rule, which is here already by default. So it is actually fine. I'll leave it this way. And all I'll do now is to click on add a security group rule and I'll select HTTP. HTTP traffic and the source type should be anywhere. Okay, so this is all I need to do for this, uh, for the configuration of my EC2 server. And I'll go ahead and click on launch instance. Okay, so I have an error that my security group already exists for this. Okay, I think I have a security group named EC2 server SG. Okay, so I'm going to click on edit instance config. And here I'll just give it a different name. Just add one to this. Okay. And I'll go ahead and launch my instance. My instance has actually started launching and I'm going to wait. Okay. So if I scroll down, I'll see view all instances. I'll click on it. So I will pause this video and wait for my instance to start running. Okay, so actually the instance is running already. Okay, so having launched my instance, the next thing we'll start talking about is how to SSH into this instance. So I'll go over to my terminal right now and let's log into this EC2 server. I will click on this instance to select it and I will copy my IP address, the public IP address, which I can use to connect to this EC2 instance. So right now I'm going to go over to my terminal to connect. Over here, all I need to do is to type the SSH connect command, which is SSH space dash I, and then I will type the name of my key pair, which is Windows key, 
and I'll append .spam and then the default username for Amazon Linux is EC2 user at and I'll type the I'll paste the IP address I've copied I'll press enter okay the authenticity of host cannot be established do you want to continue I'll type yes Great, I've successfully connected to my EC2 instance. I would like to actually note this um, in case you don't know. So in your path, in your in the path that your terminal opens to, you actually supposed to have your key pair in the same path. All right. So if your key pair downloaded in the download folder, you you need to ensure that you copy it over to the path that your terminal opens to. If not, you have issue logging in. You have issue connecting to your EC2 instance. All right. So first of all, I want to be a root user. And then the next thing is to run a command to update my, uh, to update the package manager. So I'll just run yum update dash Y press enter. Okay, nothing to do. This is up to date. That is fine. Let me clear my screen. So the next thing I'll be doing here is to install Docker. All right. So let me go over to the Docker website and over here, all I need to do is to copy this first command. And I will go over to my terminal. I will press enter and that is it. So the next command I'll be running is the command that will actually install Docker. And that should be yum install docker dash y press enter. And this will start installing Docker. Great, Docker has actually been installed, all right. So the next thing I'll do is to actually verify that this Docker was installed successfully. So I'll run Docker space dash dash version, press enter. And as you can see, Docker version 20.10.17. And that is fine. The next thing I would like to do is to start Docker. So I'll type system, CTL, start docker press enter awesome so let's verify if docker is now running i'll run systemctl status status docker i'll press enter and as you can see my docker is actually active and running all right so in this section i've successfully showed you how you can create an ec2 instance ssh into the instance and install docker that is it for this video in our next section i'll show you how you can build your docker image thank you and see you in my next video bye